Hey y'all, time for another video. So today you can see we have this beautiful fail fix girl. And I have never had one of these before. This is my first and only one. So this is gonna be kind of new for me. So what I'm gonna do is debox this cutie for y'all today. Okay, real quick, I'm just gonna do an overview of her box so y'all can see maybe you hadn't seen. Here's the side. Here's the back. This is super cute. I love the box art. Really, really cute. Loving that. Super, super cute. Probably will keep the little, you know, box art things because those are cute. So that's the box we got. And it was only $6 if you didn't see the haul. Um, she was on clearance at TJ Maxx. Okay, deboxing her was not the worst I've ever gone through, but it wasn't the easiest either. I don't know what the deal is with these packages, and even using the scissors, it's kind of hard to do. So, with that said, this is how she looks when she comes out of the box. Here's her little mask. Here's the little guide that comes in it and shows all the little things you can do. <laughs> There's all that. And still, I know these have names, but still, I don't know what her name is. Not yet, I'll have to look it up before I edit the video, but there's that. And then here is her brush with the FF and the fail fix. And I'm guessing that that's like that because her hair is a brick. Two little curler things and it has the little like guide on it that's stuck to it that shows you how to do it. So that's pretty cute. All her stuff is in her hair, as you can see, if you've never seen it. Um, her shoes and there's um, little bobby pin things and whatnot. So I'm gonna dig that stuff out of her hair and take this funny little mask off. You can see, you're, I think you're supposed to put this over it to get this off, but you don't have to, and I didn't, so. <laughs> but there is her face. So what I'm gonna do is take all this out of her hair, her shoes and whatnot, and brush her hair out off camera and then come back and let y'all see what it looks like. Here she is after I brushed out her hair. Now I will say that I'm not really a fan of that, how hard the hair was. Um, it looks okay right now, but I definitely have to give it a wash. It's still got, you know, it's crunchy and it's all fuzzy and everything. So I'm not that big of a fan of that. She did lose a lot of hair as far as I'm concerned from having to brush it, even though I was careful with it and I did use the brush that they had, she did lose a big chunk. So this is her up close and she does, I love this hair color. I do have to say that this hair color is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how well it's gonna come across, but it is two-tone. There is like, an amber color, it might even be three tones, but there's definitely like a burgundy and then more like an ambery color that I can see. But you know, it's hard to tell in the light if there's three tones, but there could be. Anyway, um, see, it's nice and full though. There is a lot of hair and it is pretty, but you know, it's still stuck up a lot and still crunchy. It's rooted real nice though, so I do I do like that. And I was surprised that there was a doll stand. I thought that was cool. And I do think that her eyes are really pretty, but here's her earrings. The earrings are really cute. I mean, they're simple, but they're cute. The necklace is kind of plain. I think I would prefer something a little more something than just that, but you know, it is what it is. And her outfit, is it's okay. The fabric is kind of cheapy. I do like the gold detail that it's not just, you know, plain. That's that's cute and I like the scalloped edges here, but it's all none of it's finished here. Um it is finished around the neck and around the hem and the design does at least go all the way around. So there's that and it has the velcro in the back. She does have like, you know, the full articulation at the elbow and the wrist. And then her knees, that's really cute. I like that. I like the shoes. They're really simple and they're nice and soft, so they're real easy to get on. So, you know, I didn't have any trouble with that. Let's see. They use the nicer Velcro, you know, the thin stuff, so it's not bulky, so there's that. That's nice. And I'm just, you know, I'm trying to do like an honest review. Like I would have never paid full price for this doll. I don't think that like 15 or so dollars is worth it. But the six that I paid, I'm fine with that. I think that that's reasonable. I do really like her cute little face. I like her lips. 
love her inset eyes and I like the way they ombre the eyebrows and like this makeup patch here that's on her eyes that's pretty cute she does have like a flaw there it's kind of a scuff on her cheek I don't know if you yeah you can kind of see that but I can remedy that that's not that big of a deal um I like that her lips are two different colors that's pretty cute I like her skin tone um overall I do like her and I would probably get another one on clearance because it is cute, but I just really was not that much of a fan of the digging the stuff out of the hair and having to brush it and all that. Like, I know that normally I have to deal with box hair with dolls, you know, you have to wash it and stuff, but this is extreme. I'm going to definitely have to give it a whole full treatment because it's so stiff still under here. Like, see? real stiff and I had I had brushed it I did spend a good time brushing it and I just was like oh I just want to be done <laughs> so I was like this is good enough for now but I do like the bouncy curls she's not like the cheapest plastic I've ever seen as far as these kind of dolls goes but you know she's definitely not you know higher end she's more of a cheapy plastic but she's not cheap cheap if if that makes any sense I don't know how to say it any other way um I didn't find really any other flaws like I've been finding with some of the other dolls that I've been getting lately, you know, like defects or anything. I haven't found any real defects. She looks okay as far as I can tell. And I do, I do like her. She's real petite though. She's really tiny. I didn't expect her. Like, I know I saw her in the box, but you know, my brain was thinking fashion doll. So I was thinking she was closer to like, you know, the 11 and a half, 12 inches like Barbie, but she's definitely not. She's definitely smaller, and I do like that. I do think that's cute, but I do have to say that my favorite part of her is her hair and her inset eyes. Those are my two favorite parts, you know, her hair color and like how fully rooted it is. Those are my two favorite things, but overall, I'd say she's a buy, you know, if you can find her on clearance, like I paid six dollars for her. I think she's worth, you know, between six and nine I would pay for her I know for my purposes I love the stand stands great but I'm probably gonna change her outfit because I don't really care for it it's kind of cheapy and you know so I'll probably make her something so there's that and I wasn't that big of a fan of the necklace but I did really like the earrings and I don't like the face mask thing so I won't you know I won't use those and the brush is it's a nice ish brush but you know I'm probably never gonna use this again either so you know I get that it goes with the gimmick of the doll and the hair and you have to do all that but I'm glad I got her I am and I am glad to put her in my collection I think that her face is super cute and she was definitely worth a try because um, I was really just not gonna get one and then when I saw her on sale for the um, six dollars on clearance at TJ Maxx, I thought, oh, I have to at least give it a try because I'm a doll collector at heart and I always want to see, you know, what's going on in the dolly world. So that's my opinion. That's what I'm thinking about her. Super cute. And I guess that's all I have to say about this fail fix cutie. I hope you enjoyed my little unboxing video of this fail fix girl. I really appreciate you being with me and thanks so much for watching. As always, I hope everyone watching is well, happy and safe, and that all the best things that are in this life that can come to you, I really do hope they will. I have to say once again, great, big, huge, lovely subscriber love to all you wonderful subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming along this journey and joining our great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family. It's growing by the day. You all truly are the best. I cannot thank you enough for coming along and joining us. So just yay. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should because we do everything Dolly related right here Dolly silliness, Dolly fun, all the Dolly goodness you can handle. Anything you can think of, we do it right here. So come along, join us, see what all we get up to. Well, that's all for this unboxing today. So you know what I'm gonna say. Bye, y'all.